Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm not angry. It is the 27th of January. I'm just uh, tired and, oh well, I'm not tired. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing my walking in the morning and uh, going to the county clinic because <coughs> cottage hospital or medical center emergency room here cottage is uh, you know it's a big HMO that frauding everyone the Zionist Zionist that they own everywhere think including human beings <laughs> anyway you see, the state of California, all counties, and all other states, okay, are committing crimes against the most vulnerable. Embezzling the money in our names, and the federal government is doing the same thing and being complacent. Federal government is, is, is just a, a big... <laughs> A big lie about all the uh, 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 punks. They got no power. Federal government is run by the Zionists. That while they is not run, they own it. They own the government. They own all these gay politicians. Hezbollah Shaitan that they decided to sell. Anyway. You see, no one talk about medic aid. They, uh, they, they, they have no clue. The people, and I believe that they don't. They don't educate them. They don't give them any information to continue to commit the crimes. <coughs> the American with Disability Act of 1990 during Reagan okay have medical transportation to the social security recipients or disabled anyone that's collecting is <coughs> having Medicare okay medical transportation all right and in-home service support services and housing for low income which is you know if you are in social security SSI or disability or a veteran you qualify <laughs> there's no if and but and end and let's see if you're eligible or prove this and prove that and who's gonna live with you and uh, you fraud in the system, and this we that's our money, we should be frauding you. And uh, okay, now mass trends <laughs> and access and a reduced fare, it's all fraud, it's all fraud again. Corporate America, the Zionist, the international terrorist organization owns all of these mass trends they own every they own everything as i said and they commit crimes against the most vulnerable the poor where the democratically are in poverty and have this all these problems they keep victimizing them and frauding them and having them an, as an account Allah wa na'mal And the, 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 the criminals that they're supposed to be standing up for all of this, it doesn't matter whether you're Muslim, Christian, or it, it doesn't matter if you're a human being. You have some kind of decency. You would say, oh no, this is, this is, un, this is unjustified. This is, this is wrong. We have to, to start there and do some, at least make it, bring it to the attention for criminals instead of taking a number. 
taking a number and committing the crimes along with them, getting paid, he's selling your akhira. Hasbunallah wa na'mal wakil. Again, it is not because Muhammad Sha'ban, alhamdulillah, wallahi, I am, I am pleased. In fact, I was thinking that I don't want to even get housing. I don't want to get a car. Because, alhamdulillah, wallahi, if you point, anyway, let's proceed. Now, why I am doing what I'm doing again? Because there is a lot of people out there that they, they don't think, they think that this is the way that they have to live. Wallahi. They, they, uh, they convince that this is how they, they have problems, the shortcoming, addiction, and so on, and so they deserve to be there. That's why I do what I do. And I wanted someone to dispute the fact, you criminals. Dispute the fact, do you? Anyway, so these three things have been taken away from millions of people all over the country. And the HMOs and the pharmaceutical companies and all these criminals infected them drugging and committing all these crimes just simply to have them as an account. That's what they do overseas. Iraqi freedom. Let's <laughs> go destroy the country and rape and pillage and so we can get the oil and and rebuild and then you got to pay for Dick Cheney and the faggots. And the Bushes and the Clintons and all these criminals. And the Trumps. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing yet. He's going to make America great again. <laughs> Along with Putin. And Netanyahu. <laughs> the three musketeers. The three stupid. Three shaitan. Hasbunallah wa na'mal wakil. Anyway. I just want to bring you that. We omit you, Muhammad. We don't get intimidated. We don't sell our deen or compromise it. And we don't stay complacent when heinous crimes are committed. It is our obligation. It is our duty. Punks, we're going to answer to La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Got it? Call me anything you want, fellas. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.